Hello Dippy Dinos, welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel. I have three unboxings today, well only one is really a box, the other two are more letters. Um, all of these are from Dinosaur Toy Forum members, either as exchanges or just as gifts. So uh, let's get right into it with this one, which I don't know what this is. This one is a gift from member Post Sauriskian. Uh, just by way of saying thank you, uh, he says. So I'm very curious to find out what's in here. Oh, a box. Let's see. What could it be? Ah, this is a Mosasaur. And I don't have it, Postal Whiskey, and you'll be very pleased to know. Um, this is the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. It comes in a few little bits and pieces. There we go, number three, Mosasaurus, 26596. So yeah, I do not have this. I'm very grateful. Uh, let's see, use my trusty red scissors. We know this will please Libra Raptor. And let's quickly put this together. There's only three pieces here, so the head goes in here and the tail goes on there. That is a really fine model. Wow, and it's big. Look at the size of it. Wow, well, thank you very much. I'm very grateful. This, I, I have something very similar, the uh, Ania articulated version. It's sort of the same size, but this is uh, more detailed, I think, and doesn't have all of those weird articulations. I'll, I'll maybe compare the two in a little bit, but for now I'll just put that to the side and move on to the next one. Well, first, what were the other ones in the series? So we've got the Mosasaur, the Indoraptor. Well, we're not really interested in that. We only like dinosaurs around here. Blue, well, that's sort of a dinosaur. And the T-Rex. Okay, I think I've got the best of the lot there. Absolutely. So moving swiftly on. This is another little box. This is the result of a trade between myself and Irritator Raji on the Dinosaur Toy Forum. So I know what to expect in here. I did feel like it was rattling around a bit, so I was concerned that it might be a little bit damaged, but we will see. It's a very fancy box. Very fancy. All right, this is well packed. We'll go in this side. Taking my time. Oh, you've not made it easy for me, Irritator. I'm sure this makes for riveting viewing. But I don't want to chop my finger off, so we'll still take our time. All right, let's see. Looks like we're in now. That's another box within the box. Let's, oh, it's got little hinges. And it looks like it's well packed. Oh, that's why I could hear rattling. There's two of them. Wow. So, I wasn't expecting the extra one. I was mostly interested in this gorgeous ceramic plesiosaur. I'll put this down. So here is the little plesiosaur. It's really pretty. 
a very long tail, a really unusual uh, flattened tail. But really pretty, yeah, I, I, I really, really like that. Thank you so much for agreeing to trade. This is one of those figures, well, or models, that uh, it's very easy to overlook. Um, no markings on it whatsoever, so I don't know, it's probably not a unique piece, but not particularly common. And it, she threw in this very cute little dinosaur. It looks almost like it's got a beak. Hmm. I wonder what that's supposed to be. How many fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it looks like it's some sort of uh, ornithopod, hadrosaur maybe, uh, rather than a theropod. Very cute. Well, thank you for sending me that. I'll put that with the other. And we'll move now on to the final package. Oh, I just saw a little uh, note that came with that last package. Uh, sorry for taking so long. I've included a second figure because I thought it was pretty unfair to make you wait months for one figure. No, not at all. I'm usually terrible at getting my figures out to, on time, but while well, I appreciate that, all the same, Irritator Raji. And in fact, I'm to blame here because this is a magazine from her uh, Dino Toy Forum favourite Libra Raptor, which uh, he has agreed to trade with a. Uh, a Nyctosaurus from PNSO. Actually, I've got one here. So this is soon to be on its way to Libra Raptor, but there has been a delay, of course, so I apologise for that. Anyway, let's take a look. And I've got trusty red scissors here. Let's see. Don't want to rip the package. I don't want to rip the contents. Okay, now there's a few other bits and pieces in here, which is a surprise. So, firstly, what's this? Hmm, this is another Joy City figure. This is a Velociraptor. Now, you might remember in a previous video. Libra, ripped, Libra Raptor had sent a few other Joy City figures to me, so he's obviously encouraging me to add to my Joy City collection. Well, thanks for throwing in that extra surprise. And, wow! <laughs> wow, what is this? Ferrero. Ferrero, it looks like some sort of Nothosaur. And it's holding onto a fish. And I have never heard of this one before. Um, this is news to me. Wow. Thanks, Libra Raptor. I guess this is a rarity. And I've, I, 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 yeah, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. This is definitely going on to my shelf of marine reptiles. And I was completely not expecting this. Ferrero. So there's a little, uh, it, it's an, a, a name that comes with it, Ferrero. It does have a company name. And I've never seen a, a figure quite like this. It's, it's, an unusual little thing, uh, almost a caricature of a nothosaur, but I'm pretty confident it is a nothosaur, and it's got a little fish in its jaws. That's really very cool. Wow. Thank you. And that leads us on to what I was expecting in this package, which is this Dinosaurs magazine from Germany. It's by Schleich, and what issue is this? Issue number nine. And the reason I was interested in this was because, of course, it comes with a free toy, and that toy is a Mosasaur. So, I think before we have a look at the magazine, let's take a look at the toy inside. Now, these little toys are exclusive to this magazine, um, which is distributed, as far as I'm aware, only in Germany. So that's why Libraptor was kind enough to help me acquire this Mosasaur. It's... Uh, well, it's what we would expect from a Schleich. It's a recognisable Mosasaur. Not too special, really. But, uh, of course, for collectors like me, it's a must-have. So, what does it say? 
the usual stuff, Schleich. There's a lot of information there. And made in Tunisia. Wow, how long has Schleich been uh, manufacturing in Tunisia? That's, that's news to me. Hmm, I might just have to do a bit of investigation there. Hmm, so they're not in China. Interesting. So there we are, there's a, a nice arrangement of miniature figures which I've been waiting a while to unbox. And here is the magazine itself. We'll have a quick flick through. Of course, I don't speak German, so we're mostly going to be looking at the pictures here. So let's see. Hello, Dino fan. A stock art of an elasmosaur. What's this? A feathered dinosaur? Archaeopteryx? Mm -hmm. Whoa. The Lagoon des Mosasaurus, the Lagoon of Mosasaurus. <laughs> Frank Lang, Robin Doyle, Daniel Lang, and Mark Rutherford. This is just a cartoon. Mm -hmm. More dinosaur magazines available in Germany. The cartoon continues. Oh, it's, it's, it's mostly this cartoon, this magazine seems to be. Here's a few posters. There's another poster there. I think that uh, the reverse of that poster is, there it is, that's the tail of this one. Of course, because it's like they have the Schleich dinosaur toys on the fact sections. They don't have it for the Mosasaurus for some reason. But here we are, there's the Mosasaur toy that we have here. It looks like it's identical. Yeah, that's the one. So, facts about the creature. Oh, we've even got some pictures of the skeleton. That's good. Spot the difference. Some more dino stuff. There's the toy again. Ceratopsians. Like figures. More cartoons. Hmm. Now this is no. Oh, that's interesting. That. No, that looks very similar to the Safari Limited old Carnegie collection Elasmosaurus, but there's not. A, the head doesn't quite match. The coloration here does on the sides, and the basic body proportions do. Now that would be ironic if they had taken a stock photo of a of a competitor's toy. Uh, Schleich did actually produce their own Elasmosaurus way back when. Not too bad, but uh, this continues a long time ago. And uh, finally we've got some puzzles, and it looks like this might be a competition. And an advertisement for, uh, for Legoland on the back. So that's it. So thank you to all three of you for trades and gifts. I'm very grateful. I meant to do a quick comparison of the two Mosasaurus versions. So this is uh, the one that I just received. This one is the one without articulations that I feel is a bit more detailed than the other one here, which is about the same size. Um, but as you can see, this one, it has these articulations in the tail and it has an articulation in the jaw and it doesn't fit together in different pieces. So then make a nice pair. Let's take a closer look at the heads and see. So Yeah, they're very similar. Of course they are. They're, they're based on the same uh, movie design. But they are different as well. So that's the new one, that's the old one, and you can see I think that there is a little bit more detail in that new one. So, yeah, more detail I think in the in the patterns on the back, but presumably based on very similar sculpts. And the, although the bodies and heads are about the same size for both, the tail is much longer in the articulated version whereas the other version here has a, a very natural uh, curve to it. So, we'll put those down 
and for real this time. Take care.